Yo! Welcome to Toho, wily beast and weakest creature, also known as Toho 17. I'll be making a let's play of the hard mode of this game. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna be practicing all the stages and it'll end off with me doing a 1cc. So let's go. I'll be playing as Ray Muotter. Because I like Raymu and Otter is OP. I was thinking of using Marisa, but I like Raymu better, I think. I got I just kinda got used to her uh, movement speed. I can't get used to super fast Marisa. And fuck fuck fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, start off with stage one. I haven't unlocked stage six yet. That's a problem. However, a problem I don't have to worry about right now. Uh, stage 1, I've played this a million times, it'd be embarrassing if I die here. I noticed like the back of my hand by this point. The other parts will definitely gotta be longer. And there's these guys, they shoot this, and they release those spirits. Followed by some more soul looking thingies that shoot the purple bullets. dodge them easy peasy and then there's this big guy he's like a mid boss type big fairy he gives you your last fairy that you need if your last spirit that you need in order to get your release which i recommend doing at least for my route although it could change and then the mid boss i have no idea how i can get the secret thing for her though since it's a little difficult to not accidentally murder any of her shit and dodge all of her shit at the same time. Although I had an idea of probably just not hitting anything. That was my strategy, that was the strategy that I came up with. I'll have to try it out later. For now, well I died once, so that's embarrassing. Stage 1 should always be, uh, perfected. That should be a given. So my goal for this, for the per first part is to master stage 1 and get it consistently perfect. Stage 2 is where I can probably bomb a bunch for shit. For the most part, you wanna perfect your stage 1. This is the easiest stage. And you should try to see if you can get an extend off of it. Unless you're playing 10 desires, you should always go for extend and, and at least having one and at least getting one extend off of stage one. You know? Well it's a little random, but it's fine enough. I don't like bullets coming from behind though. What's the name of this spell? Stone Cage Converse. Uh, to my to my defense, I was not looking at the bullets. Aka my favorite girl so far. Oh god damn it, I'm just just dying. Oh my. One, you literally just have to bottom hug it. There's no strategy here. It's just bottom hug. Adult children's limbo. What is Aka's inspiration anyway? What's she based off of? Yokai that stacks stones. Never heard of it. Although I've never heard of many yokai. Period. Shit, I accidentally. Alright, let's try again. I can get this perfectly. 
But we want the route, people. We want the route. A nice and efficient route. Bullshit. I ran into that like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I really shouldn't have restarted, but I did it anyway. Second nature. <laughs> maybe I should try the Wolf Rain again, or maybe Eagle. Extra power in their shots might be useful. Having the otter active for a long time is nice, but having extra bomb, extra bombs are also equally nice. So yeah, maybe I'm thinking the rain a lot. Maybe I'm thinking the otter. I am loyal to the Mr. Otter. All right, time out the spell. Shouldn't be that hard. It's only 20 seconds, and the pattern in itself is pretty easy. Oh, it doesn't work if I just time it out. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I I think it's just impossible to get the secret in, in the harder difficulties. I'm starting to think it's literally just impossible. Dang it. With the non spouse being incredibly difficult. I've been walled by this spell a couple of times before, so that's a little bullshit. So maybe aggressive dodging might be necessary and might want to look ahead a little. To avoid that kind of scenario. Or you know, if you do come across that scenario, it's stage fucking one. No big deal, I'm just restarting. Alright, so I died once. Let's try again. Actually. Can I spell practice her first? No. Right. Right. It's not a spell at all. Well, that's a little bullshit. Up oh, here we go. Oops. Missed ya. not a great soundtrack, but it's decent. It's just decent for me. 
There are a few songs I actually really like. But nothing... But only a few songs stand out rather than all of them being equally amazing. It might be a little luck based depending on her movement. Oh! Uh, 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 confused Pikachu noises. What? Uh, I got it. I got it. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. We take those. No, I can't kill all of you. And there's too many spirits, I don't like this. That bomb, that otter, where's the life? There's the life, alright. Well, let's move way too fast for the otter to just block all the attacks. I have to slowly move down along with them. For maximum defense age. Alright. Grab, grab, grab. Grab, grab. Alright. Safe. Dang it. Mm, can't grab those. I don't know about you, but that was one sol heck of a solid run for me, in my eyes. Holy shit, do you see that? I got so many spells! Off of that, off of that. Alright, I'll store replay. Stage one hard uh, route. Maybe I'll try improving it. Or maybe I should move on to the next stage and plan out those routes. Or you know, I could keep rerouting so that this this let's play lasts long. Alright. Let's see if I can do it again. Gotta be able to do it consistently here. Consistency is key. So stage two, once I get there, you still want to get it perfect, but at the same time you might want to bomb a little at, the, at those kinds of stages. Depends on, depends on how bullshit I find it. And if anything goes wrong, that I don't particular anything goes that some way in a way that I don't particularly like, I can always still just restart. It's just stage two. It'll feel a little bad since I got past stage one, so now I technically have to get back to stage two if I do that. But. Hey! I said, fuck! It's really just, it's literally just random whether I get her or not. Both- That's annoying. 
I hate it. it. Just feels like it that way. In normal, it was at least doable. But in hard, there's literally just some times where you just can't hit her, and I have to stop shooting. I want to avoid shooting any of those spirits. It's dumb. Imagine that. Imagine trying to do that in Lunatic. I'm pretty sure it's, it might be impossible on Lunatic. So you'll be given less extents in Lunatic. This is Lunatic. I want my spirit to be gone by the time I am in the mid boss. Don't want the beast accident. Don't want the otter shield accidentally killing bitches. Got it again. All right. Why do you have so much health? God damn! Really? With how easy this spell is, I don't know why I even tried to. Alright, at least I know now. I'll avoid doing that. Alright, let's do stage 2 now. Why not? This spell's so easy. Alright. Wanna start off right here since... Oh, look at that, I'm at full power. I don't know why I grazed those. Score literally does nothing for me here. Ah. Just kill him. Just kill him. I don't. I've been overthinking things a lot lately, especially the very, the incredibly mundane shit. Uh, I've been thinking about the scoring system in a lot of the Toho games I play, and I'm like, damn, I just feel like they're so pointless. I don't see a lot of people recording their score runs or off it, or even posting score, their scores, so I assume people just don't like scoring in this game. Just feel so arb. The scores just, just, they just feel ar so arbitrary. I think it's hard to explain. Uh, even harder to explain, considering uh, 
I'm kind of busy trying to not die. And I'm also commentating. But hey, since I'm commentating, that's kind of my job. I'm supposed to tell you shit. Oh my god, I didn't get the secret. What do you mean, I didn't get the secret? I was so fucking close in the upper face. That has to count. You shit. You fucking game. I hate you. Why? Why must you torment me? I just sounded so passive-aggressive there. That was actually kind of funny. Ah, fuck! I mean, uh, grazing is a cool mechanic on how to get score, but... But how many bullets there are... And what they give you... Score values, score items... Here's a fun little, uh... Thought experiment. Just this, just... So that, just to prove to you how fucking arbitrary the scores are. What's the minimum score you can get in a Toho game? Assuming you like, go for... Kind of reminds me of um, the modern 2D Mario games. They have score, but it's only there really for the, st for the sake of nostalgia. You know what I mean? Uh, there's these runs on YouTube where they try to get the lowest amount of score possible. Because getting the 999 is super, is fucking easy as fuck. It's actually a joke. The stage 2 is actually really freaking hard, now that I think about it. Well, <laughs> theoretically, I, I'd have 7 bombs for this stage. There's that. I'm gonna try doing a cool thing. Watch this. Wow! <laughs> Timing God! <laughs> Shit. I lost, I lost track of, I lost track. Eventually, eventually Remix stopped thinking, boys. I, I seriously just stopped thinking. I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't know what's, what I'm doing anymore. I'm just pressing buttons now. That's literally all I'm doing right now. I'm just pressing buttons and praying. Because I, I lost track. I don't know what's happening anymore. I, I stopped commentating and I stopped talking and now I, I'm just confused. As to what I should be doing. I win? Okay. Why the paw prints? Also, holy shit, your go hey is as long as a fucking stick. It's as long as a fucking staff now, up as a fucking pole arm. Bruh. I wanna go off on a limb right here. Well, I'll do it later, once we get back to the boss. For now, let's retry, shall we? Kill shit. Spirit. Uh, these guys kill him quick. They give spirit. Fuck. Too early. Get used to their timing. They shoot static patterns, so they should be. Pr they sh they're pretty easy to get. Says the person who died. Anyway, try get. Try getting your score at zero in this game. Uh, you only need to play the game for one millisecond to know that that's fucking impossible. Because just the act of shooting and reducing up a target's HP gives you score. 
everything gives you score. You're bound to have a very big score by the end of the game. Is it supposed to make me feel good? <laughs> I mean, granted, score systems have never really been great. They were used to elongate uh, playtime back in the day, and I doubt people barely knew shit about game design back then. I doubt they'd actually know how to properly design a good and fun scoring system. Well, actually, there are a few hints of game design that are already present, even when there were still no video games. I mean, people were making board games and card games, and there's even sports. So they at least have something to... to you, they at least have something to use when... You know? Why is no one shooting? I'm a... Uh, remix! You... You, what, why are you asking the question? Have you ever thought to consider uh, maybe they're not shooting because you're killing them before they can shoot? Also, is this the pattern static? That would be really nice if it was, because that means I can dodge this the same way every time. They even give me a spirit, so yeah. If I can, it looks pretty easy enough, so if, if I can just memorize it and get it consistently, that'd be really nice. One last bullshit I gotta. Uh, worry about. People knew since the beginning of time that big numbers make people feel good. So obviously they made the scores always give big numbers. <laughs> When I was first learning computers, I had a really stupid idea. Uh, so 8-bit computers, right? They have 8 bits, combine that up, and they can count from 0 to 255. They got up, and that's how many numbers they can count up to. And I was like, how can you get the... How can you get higher number than 255 with those? Like, uh, Gradius was for the NES, and you got you get score there. And I'm like, oh, no, no shit, Sherlock. Of course, you, there's plenty of ways to bypass that limit. It's actually kind of easy when you think when you give it more than the five milliseconds you spent thinking about that thought experiment. Past remix, yeah. I've been focusing more on commentating than actually fucking wit trying to win here. Uh. This is bad. Let me try again. With more gusto. Not like that. I accidentally pressed X. <laughs> I'm playing with a gamepad. Uh, it's always been... I just really like playing with a gamepad. I use the plus pad rather than the joystick. Apparently people use the joystick, which confuses me considering wouldn't that make dodging har uh, precise movements harder because the joystick is like 360 directions while, uh, well that was sick. Meanwhile, the, ch uh, the Chad Soho games only support 8 directional movement, so I'm like, eh? I don't understand. Why not use the plus pad like I always knew? It has four directions, and you can press two directions at once to to add another four directions. Bam! An exact eight, just like in the game. Just like in the game. Fuck. I don't see how this how how doing this is possible in hard. Well, yes, it is. I think it's possible. I just need to get used to the timing. Actually, there is no there is no timing for me to get these two. Fucking, uh, fucking random. At least as far as I know. Surprisingly safe, Zen. Surprisingly safe. More like surprisingly bullshit. Unsurprisingly bullshit. I should go look up some replays and see how people hand deal with that. Oh God. Oh god. 
One last try with no commentary now. And then I'm out and then I'm ending this video. I've been talking too much and also equally dying as much. I said I'd stop talking, but look where I am. I'm still talking. I'm not gonna shut up. You can't make me! Anyway, if I speed kill this guy, there's nothing for me to dodge! Hooray! The real challenge in scoring systems nowadays is trying to see how low you can get them rather than how high. You know? Well, in, at least in Toho. There's rhythm games, and rhythm games are fun, and their scoring system is actually fun. Come on, give me a spirit. Give me a spirit. I want another otter. I want another otter. Where's the next fucking enemy that shoot that releases the fucking thing? Look at that, now that I'm actually trying and I'm actually doing good. Oh, you're the guy that shoots that releases the next thing. Alright, I know your pattern now. I can dodge you! I hate myself! Uh, I am actually not happy about that at all, but I will continue on regardless. Ugh, yare yare does it. That's embarrassing. Oh yeah, the timing goal. How much bombs did I actually get off of that stage? And how much more can I continue to get? You only need three things to get a spell card and the life, and it's fixed, and it's a fixed thing. The game gives you more spell cards than they do lives, but... Dude, they give you so many spell cards. And you're a Raymo Otter. I can lit you can literally just bomb spam your way to victory with this game. And you, you betcha my rod's gonna, gonna have a lot of bombing. Maybe not in stage 1 or 2, but 3 onwards? Oh, expect my trigger finger to go trigger finger. Fuck. I need to be close. But not too close that I can't react. They start expanding around here, so this might be the Goldilocks zone. Pam. The Goldilocks Zone is a scientific term that refers to uh, the, blah, 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 the circumference. Fuck, I forgot my fucking circle terminology. What do you call the thing? The length away from the fucking... The radius. Blah, 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 blah. No, the radius, is, the radius is the fucking circle area. Ah, fuck. What do you call it? Whatever. It's basically the place on the solar system where life could theoretically exist. Uh, for example, the Earth is in the Goldilocks zone of the Sun, and so is Mars, kind of. Therefore, life can happen there. And wouldn't you know it, there's life on Earth. Uh, stupid life like me, who plays stupid things that other people stupidly made. What is this commentary, even? That's... End this quickly. Anyway, any spell cards I could bomb here. I might as well just ma practice them. They're easy enough, I think. That I can no bomb them. But if I get like a full bomb, but if I find out I ha I end up getting a lot of bombs, I might consider bombing something. Maybe the non spells if I can't get their spirits. Uh, that was still pretty terrible and I ended up still doing terrible anyways, but I don't care. If I wasn't talking, I probably would have done pretty good, but those were pretty good practices, I think. I don't know how to end the video. 
I'm I'm just gonna cut it abruptly like this. Bye.